Hello. I would like to demonstrate the basic function of our control system configurator solver. First of all, please go to our website and download the solver. So right here, down here, you can see the solver is right here. So after you have installed, then you will see the same screen as me. So first of all, you can, oh, here we have four steps. The first one, project. So you can select the controller you, we, you used. And also the number of rooms and the basic functions right here. And I just simply to type uh, testing. In step two, this is the, the management of devices. So we have different interfaces. Oh, here my, my controller is VK2200. So for example, I can add a VN3200 device, also a Epson projector. You might have different devices. For example, you, can, you might have occupation sensor, you might have IR devices, or you like to control uh, a curtain or a screen, you, you would like to have a relay control. Uh, for example, if I would like to have our V89 series as a serial, as an Ethernet devices, and of course for the Ethernet devices, you have to uh, configure the IP address, also the username and password. Uh, for those serial devices, because we have drivers, so you don't have to add the parameters right here. But if you add a custom device, of course, you have to configure the correct parameters here. All right? So uh, for example, if you would like to add more devices, but controller do not have enough IO interfaces, then you can have right here, you can add more expander here. So for example, I would like to have a serial expander, IR expander, and, and so on. And of course, uh, if you like to have different controllers here, of course you can add a con controllers at the same place as well. All right, so we down to step two. In the step three, step three is for you to configure your uh, GUI design also as well as uh, actions. So we have a mobile device and we have different, different options here. And also you can have uh, our keypad or you might have our control, uh, our touch panel, VK330. So I would like to tag VK330 as a example. So once I add this device, you can see here, I, we have the page and the side page here. Okay, so the page is the first page for user to uh, see. So I can have I can select uh, a layout. Uh, we have a different options here. So I select the layout, this one. Okay. And also we offer uh, multiple templates here. So for example, I would like to have this one, this one, also this two. All right. Okay, so I have select the home page uh, layout also for sub pages. So then I can do my custom customization. So first of all, I would like to change the logo. Change to the 18 logo. And uh, if we want to change the background, it's also doable. For example, I would like to change the background. And you can adjust the position, also the size, and we have to change to different image or color that was uh, doable. Also the size of the uh, wording. Uh, for example, if I want to be uh, bigger. All right, okay. And for my layout, same here, I switch to the 18 logo. 
And also, I have four options here. Of course, you can add more or can, uh, if it's too much, then you can remove. So, I name like uh, switch, switching. Writing uh, conference. The last one will be the audio. Okay, so in my uh, home page, I have four buttons, and each button I would like to to have its own uh, console page. So you can have. The actions here we call link sub page. So remember, we have add four pages before. It's four pages. So I would like to have these four buttons linked to uh, one of them. So I can add this comments here. So for example, the first one, I would like to link to this page. And the second one, this page, third one, this page, the fourth, fourth one, this page. And of course, you can select the sub page here to preview the results, right? All right, so let's down the, the main parts for the sub page. But don't forget to add a link command to the main icons here. So the command we call link to the page one because here yeah, the page one is the uh, we have designed before right so the home page we have logo background also the main icon and main icon will link to the page one in the page one we have four buttons here and each button will link to its own sub page okay so so there's a well what I, what I have done so far and we have a uh, a function we call that a simulator is on the top right side here. So click the icon of the simulator. And you will pop out uh, a simulator window. So you see exactly the same you have designed, the logo background the icon. So click. Remember we have uh, four buttons right here. So once we click, this is the uh, sub page we have select and of course uh, each button is uh, all um, it's all uh, in interactive so I the button two three and a four and we also came back to the main page right so this is the basic uh, functions for your uh, graphic design of course, you can add more objects or more functions here. So for example, let me demonstrate. For example, if I can add a dialog. So we have dialog option here. Also, you can type the string. Also, we can have the string, uh, message for, uh, for a progress. So for example, here, enter any string you like. I enter, press wait. All right. So I can image once once I press this button, a dialog will show up, and to ask me, are you sure? And once I click yes, and the message will also appears, and shows the press wait. Then will there will go a, a progress bar for. Five seconds. Of course, you can modify it. I can uh, modify to the three seconds. Also, I would like to add more objects. So, for example, I would like to add a, a slider. So let's go to a side page here. Uh, maybe I add in this page. Uh, I would like to change low side counts to a slider. I can add a slider. Here, vertical one. You can adjust the size and also the position. 
maybe lower a little bit. I want to have two, so I can just duplicate. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see the results. Also, go to the right side here. Simulator. Okay. Remember, when this button has been pressed, then a dialog show up. When I click OK, then then we go for a progress bar. Oh, maybe I did not click. Let me go go back to check. This one. Dialog check. Message. Oh, forgot to check. All right. Let's see the results again. Okay, the same button, dialog, message for three seconds. Yes, then go to the next one. Uh, we add slider at the last one. So you can demonstrate uh, the slider. And slider, you can uh, define the labels. I think I only define two labels, so you, you, you cannot see the the position between the slider, so you can back to the slider bar. Try the labels, for example, like a 10, this one, even more 20. Okay, let's see the results. Oh, I just closed it, so I reopen it. Okay, dialogue message for three seconds. Let's go to the last one. We have slider. This one I have 10 labels, and this one I have 20 labels. Okay, so I think that that's a basic uh, function for the UI design and of course for real situation you have to add uh, actions or events for your case so, so for example when I in the this side page so I have to add a source selection for the like VN or V V89 series so, so this is the command that you have to add it. So once you complete all actions, then you can upload the uh, profiles of viewer to the controllers. For example, I have the controllers. After you enter the, the IP address, oh, because I did not complete the correct ID number right here. Right, so after you press this button and the profile will upload to the controllers. Let me demonstrate. So you can open our Windows application and download the profile from the controller. So you will see the exactly the same uh, graphic when you when you uh, see in our simulator. So this is our Windows um, application. So I search the same IP address. Now you see the viewer right here. Download it. Finish. Enter. I see the same graphic design. Logo, background, the main icon. And this time, 
the view is exactly connected to our controllers. So you see the dialog, you see the message, and also the same sub page here. Right? Okay, so so uh, this is the the basic uh, features. Let me let me open a uh, another project for your reference. This is the project that we use in our office. Uh, in this project, we also use a VK2200 as a main controller. And uh, this project, we contain multiple devices. So you can see lots of devices right here, also using our several expanders. Let's look at the viewers. So see here, you can overview the all pages here. So lots of, lots of uh, customized images here. Let's just go for the most uh, simulator. Okay, so see this is uh, this is the main page. So this is uh, four same uh, scenario buttons. So you, also you can have an uh, individual control page. So for example, this is to control the screen for projector and the TV screen, and also the functions of uh, projectors and TVs, also the camera for the position and the control, control function, audio control, lighting control, also uh, air con. The last one is settings. So uh, the audio meter. Okay. So uh, this is the end of my demonstration, and I hope it helps. Thank you.